Hey guys, welcome to this let's play for Batman Arkham Oranges. Origins, Orgi Origins, yep, yep, Origins. Um, I I'm Tom Bramwell from Eurogamer. Um, I thought I'd show the start of the game. I've finished it now, but um, this is a this is a sort of good way to um, reacquaint yourself if you've been away from the Batman games for a while and um, give you a little overview of some of the systems in it if you've never seen them before. What is that? Like I say, this is the very first level of the game. Um, Batman has arrived at. Oh, yeah, that would have been embarrassing if I screwed that up. Very first thing again. Uh, has arrived at Blackgate Prison, where Black Mask has busted in, it seems, and taken Commissioner Loeb uh, hostage. Uh, this is the warden. I think his name's Walter Joseph. Something like that. Um, he's. Uh, Something's happened to his eye. Anyway, as you can see, everyone's very confused about the presence of this strange man dressed as a bat. This is because this is very early in the Batman story, um, whatever the canon of uh, the, the Arkham games is. Um, Arkham Origins, Origins, Orange, Origins, Origins is a prequel to Arkham Asylum, which was the first Rocksteady game, and uh, Arkham City, which is the second. Uh, it is made by a different developer though, Warner Brothers Games Montreal. Um, this is presumably because Rocksteady Games, they probably said this, Rocksteady Games are working on the next gen version. This is current gen only. I'll make them tell me where I can find Black Mask. Okay, so here we are at the start of the game, one of the first combat runs. Well, the first combat run, obviously. Um, as you can see, it uses a sort of... Uh, uh, can I talk while playing it? No, apparently not. Uh, uh, uh. Those little spikes you see popping up are indicators that I can counter. Um, they allow you to move between... Well, there's otherwise a very simple network of free-flowing moves. All you do is press one button per attack. Uh, although I tend to mash it while I'm doing it. Um, and then uh, hit the Y button, since this is the Xbox 360 version, when the little counter icon appears. At the Where's end of this Black fight, Mask? we're going to interrogate this guy and see whether he knows I'm where Black Mask is. Talk. How much pain you endure before that is in your head. My suspicion is that no. Black Mask is deeper I in the prison. Don't ask me why. This. Okay, okay. He said it to the execution chamber. <laughs> <gasps> the execution chamber? Smart. With Commissioner Loeb? Now you get to take a nap. Brilliant. Great, so that's uh, that's somebody from Ubisoft who wants me to play Assassin's Creed 4 multiplayer because uh, that's something that's going on this afternoon. Um, I played a bit of it earlier. I'm reviewing that as well in parallel. Wow, you're really seeing behind the curtain today, aren't you? Anyway, uh, this we, we, are, we, are, we are talking about Batman Arkham Origins. Origins, I got it right that time. Um, so let's, let's stick to that. Sorry, Eridoto274 or whatever it is. Now, you can probably hear me mashing the buttons, you don't actually have to do this, it's just that I'm rubbish at video games, so, uh... Oh, I do like the little slow motion final blows that they smash into different enemies. The only way to advance is to grapple up and over this At the end of a bit of combat. Ah, the grapple! You're probably familiar with the grapple. Uh, it allows you to go up, into, go up into crawl spaces, launch yourself over the tops of buildings, that sort of thing. Heading deeper into the prison now. Nice door mechanisms. Video games are great at doors, aren't they? And corridors. Right, what's going on here? <gasps> wow. It's Killer Croc. He is. Oh, this guy's seen me. Now, this guy's got body armor, so you need to use your cape using the uh, circle button to. Um, Stun him, and then you can uh, you can break through his blocks. Uh, what am I doing next? So, oh, oh, yeah, right. Keep, keep going up. Another door. Aha! Detective vision. One of the cooler aspects of um, Batman's arsenal is you can see skeletons through walls, so you can work out what's going on. Uh, what am I doing here? I'm not actually uh, paying attention. Oh, switches, right, okay. There you go. Uh, 
Oh, no, what I've done there is completely not pay attention to like this. That silence slash mashing of buttons is the sound of concentration. That's the combo going on here. Oh! Boom. Vicky Vale, that's not Vicky Vale. Ah, there's Vicky Vale. Hello! We don't want any trouble. Well, why are you in a prison then? During a riot. Whatever. Uh huh. Oh, going in a lift, are we? Oh, a lift shaft anyway. That area of the floor is weak. Ah explosive gel to break. Yes, through. as you can see with the uh, detective vision, this area of the floor is weak. No, I'm just parroting what Batman said. So let's go through it like this. Boom. What's going on down here then? Batman looks concerned. He really has got massive arms and legs, hasn't he? Oh, Commissioner's pockets, because they are lying. And there's Black Mask. And what have I got to show for? Huh? My own men in the slammer? Nah, I'm no more. Move. Batman Tonight. Arkham Origins Women's principal bad guy, Black Mask, there. So we will learn more about him. In the meantime, though, it's time to go in a vent. Excellent vent wrenching animation here. Always been a fan of this. One of the things you'll notice, uh, I guess, is that I haven't really done anything you couldn't do in the previous games uh, yet. This is because there isn't a lot in this game that you can't do in the previous games. Um, it's very faithful to the template that Rocksteady created with Arkham Asylum. Oh my goodness, I don't want to play, go away. I'm trying to do something else. Very faithful to the template that um, those guys put together and almost to a fault I would say um, it lacks something um, it, it doesn't it, it, it is what you might say it is a perfectly solid addition to the series but it perhaps doesn't make any of its own additions to the series or at least certainly not a huge amount and this guy looks quite pleased with himself doesn't he he knows that um, I can't reach him through the bars but um, I suspect we will soon be blowing holes in him aha the back claw another way of opening a vent if you want to read more of my thoughts on the game overall, as I mentioned, I've, I've finished it now and, and played a good bit of the multiplayer. Um, the multiplayer created by Splash Damage, by the way. Um, then you can read my review on Eurogamer. In fact, there is a reasonable probability that you are, in fact, reading it at the moment and have clicked on this video midway through. In which case, hello! Thanks for your support. Oh, it didn't end well for this guy after all. Who could have seen that coming? Execution chamber access. Obviously this is right at the start of the game, but if you are obsessed with not spoiling anything, you probably want to avoid watching now, because uh, this will be where we start to see certain more detailed elements of the story. But you know, it's literally, we're ten minutes into the game, so you're not missing much. I'm sure you can put up with, put up with that. What am I doing? Aha! Let's get that bent off the wall. Batman, like a lot of video game heroes, is very fortunate that there's so much uniformity in uh, the construction of buildings in his world. Okay. So what's going on? That's the execution chamber. And it looks like Calendar Man is in there. But Black Mask isn't going to kill him. I suspect we're about to find out what he is going to do. What's all this about, Cyanus? Haven't I always come through for you? You may have, Gillian, but uh, things have changed. We're starting with a clean slate, and you're not on it. Uh -oh. What are you talking about? I'm not on it. After all, I've done for you. This looks like a bad time to be Commissioner Loeb, doesn't it? Batman senses it as well. Oh dear, he's actually gassed him to death. Yeah. Okay, well. Uh, get through the window. Is there anything we can do? There's Too nothing late. we can do. Is dead. Black Mask has a lot to answer for. Except, get in another fight! Who wants some?
Oh, that was nice. Oh, uh, 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 keeping this guy stunned. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Nice, that was a good little combo there. I buttered up the body armor guy and whilst raining blows on him, took time out to counter a couple of the other guys and ultimately strung it all together and I guess this is pretty, you know, this is this is this is great really. I've done well. Obviously I've spoiled it by then um, jabbering incoherently, but um, you know, you can only do so many good things at once I guess. What am I doing now? Aha! I'm going the right way. Let's go for a little jog. More excellent doors. Huh. Well, maybe not. What's going on? Oh, yeah, no, we are going through here. If in doubt, detective vision is usually the mantra, but um, didn't need to do anything there. Oh, no. Killer Croc's dropped something. It's this drone thingy. And Batman's found a memory card. There's a lot of gadgets and gizmos in the game that go beyond the Batarang, the Batclaw, etc., as you might imagine. Memory card is damaged. A lot of things that um, you may remember from previous games return, the cryptographic sequencer, uh, um, and there are some other bits and pieces. You have quite a lot of it to start with as well, which is cool. Um, although that does contribute to this being slightly less of a Metroidvania type experience, um, with less kind of spotting something and then making a mental note to come back later. Uh, there's a bit of that, but it's, it's not as pronounced, I would say, as the previous games. For better or for worse? Oh, cutscene. That was a seamless transition, wasn't it? Not at all obvious. Okay, so they're on the roof of the prison, they're making their getaway. But I suspect that Killer Croc isn't going to fit onto that helicopter. He knows it as well, you can see. He's really annoyed. He's saying, go over there. Uh oh! This is bad news for Killer Croc. I wonder where he gets his no trousers. Oh, good banter. I do like the dialogue in this game. Wow. I really, one of these days, must turn off the notifications. It's a spoiler, isn't it? Another seamless transition back into gameplay. So, uh, right, what are we doing? Oh dear, that's not very good. Okay, well, I, uh, as you can see, this is an early boss fight. Um, in which uh, Batman fights Killer Croc on the rooftop of uh, Blackgate Prison. Oh, Whoa! Merry Christmas. That was really terrible. Sorry about that. I was um, forgot what I was doing for a second there. Oh dear! I'm hash of this. Oh, let's give him another pounding. No, he didn't like that at all, did he? Oh, he's very cross. He wants to give me a kiss. Oh, 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 what do we do here? Punch him in the eye. Yep, headbutt him. Good. Kick him in the chest. He won't try that again in a hurry. Oh, wait, yes, he will. It's phase two of his attack button. He will do it again in about two seconds. Right, what I was trying to do... Yeah, there you go. You, you, you do the quick tap batarang thing and it blows up the uh, explosives uh, in Croc's hands. Oh, did he get me? No, he didn't. Oh, and I've. Uh, oh, oh sod off. Keep going. Ah, leave me alone, mate. I'm trying to sort out your boss. Oh, here he goes. This worked so well the first time that he's going to give it another go. Oh, blimey. I've not actually tried letting him eat my head. Um, uh, it didn't occur to me when I was playing the game. I was so caught up in the moment. Uh, I don't want to lose this boss fight just for being um, being a bit casual. Okay, yep, yeah, I think that's it. That's Killer Croc. He is tossed back. Oh, and like a WWE wrestler, he has unconvincingly caught his arm in that middle bar. Where's he going? The boss of me is me. Well, I mean, if Killer Croc he loses out in this game, then he could always find work in one of the Gears of War games, I think. He does look a lot like a locust person, doesn't he? Ah, he's hinting at uh, the overall premise of this exciting game, which is about to open out into an open world thingy. 
Yep, it's... I mean, if you don't want to know anything about the game, then probably A, don't watch this video, don't raise your memory, and B, don't listen to the next 10 seconds. Yes, Black Mask is offering a bounty of $50 million on Batman's head, and he's invited eight supervillain assassins to the city to try to collect it by killing him. Oh dear, classic Batman. So there we go, I think that's probably just about enough. You've seen the first level of the game where you've got a little sort of hint at some of those systems. There'll be other videos of Batman on our channel, so check those out. And uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching. Such thing as a Batman, eh? Yeah, there is in fact such a thing as a Batman.